Hello friends, it's getting a little bit cool down here in Florida, entering the 60s, but up north things seem to be even colder, and this is when the shopping season kicks off for condos and oceanfront properties. Weather gets cold and people start migrating like snowbirds. So let's just recap what we saw on our last episode. We analyzed two key factors of real estate investment, location and timing, and how they relate to Florida. Location-wise, beyond the great weather and beaches, the sunny state offers four tax incentives. Number one, no state income tax. Number two, no estate or inheritance tax. Number three, homestead tax exemption. Number four, Save Our Homes Act. And last but not the least, timing, which essentially is now, due to large condo inventory and low interest rates. You see, in real estate, you make money the day you buy. Low, that is, and then sell when it's high. That's how you turn a profit. So let's jump right in. Let's look at the data and analyze numbers for this exercise. We're looking at a map of Miami. North, we have the MacArthur Causeway, which leads you all the way to South Beach. And on the south side, the Rickenbacker Causeway that takes you to Key Biscayne. West boundary is the famous I-95 and east the Miami South Channel. Current inventory accounts for 2,261 condos active for sale. Now we're going to focus specifically on Brickle Key and target uh, the Brickle Key one condo. Um, here you can see there's 22 units. Well, this one wouldn't count because that's a $200,019 zero beds. That's probably a cabana. So there's 21 active units from 265,000 to 1.195 million. That's uh, probably a penthouse, four beds, three baths, baths at 3,300 square feet. Next, we have this um, beautiful three bedroom, three bathroom condo. 1,890 square feet at $745,000. Let's check out some of the pictures. Amazing views, and it, see, it seems it has some very nice flooring. Then uh, let's look at the actual months of inventory. As you can see, it's a roller coaster ride from 2009 to 2019, and you can see there's a certain correction there this year. Let's look at in months of inventory. In January, it was 37 uh, months of inventory. Now it's 26 months of inventory, which means that it would take us 26 months at the current run rate to sell everything available in the condo. Now, in regards to new listings, you see that the number of listings is also in decline, and the list price by square square foot ratio let's look into the data is actually if you had bought a condo in 2009 you would have paid 267 dollars today it's in 470 there's a slight decline compared to 2018 then in 2016 election year you saw a decline in new listings then as things stabilize there are new listings towards 2018 and again, as we approach the 2020 election um, period, we'll see another cool down in the market. So it's basically cyclical and it's a natural behavior. Finally, this condo has had in the past 180 days, nine sales ranging from cl uh, closing prices from 1.150 all the way to 200,000. Interesting is there that there's this 2-2 condo listed at 495 sold at 425 but if you look at every single condo has a re price reduction $30,000, $20,000, etc. Bottom line this is a very good moment to buy. So in a nutshell, the market is in correction mode and of course some may argue we're close to hitting another recession. My take is very simple. The fundamentals of growth are still here. A strong economy, GDP growth, low unemployment, low interest rates, and a treaty with China should be coming soon. 
As we reviewed in our analysis, we're entering an election cycle. So if you disagree with the current government and believe things will get better under a new administration, or if you like the current government and after election day, you believe things are also going to get better, shouldn't we all agree that no matter who occupies the Oval Office, everything's going to be all right? Right? So wouldn't this be the best time to invest when the market is slowing down? This is Edwin Marchand saying goodbye from sunny Florida.